Hello everyone, this is Captain Elevator 42189 here to show everybody one of the most famous fixtures that the Dover Elevator Company ever made. That's right, Impulse. The Impulse fixtures were very popular back in the 80s and the 90s to the point that ThyssenKrupp actually used these fixtures for a brief time in the early to mid 2000s. Unfortunately, they were now considered obsolete, but nonetheless, these were supposedly a very good fixture package. But how in the world do they work? Well, there were supposedly two versions. There was an older version, which I currently don't have, but this right here is a newer version which, as you can see, here is how it works. So normally, on the elevator itself, you typically see the button and the frame that surrounds it. You know, most of them are black, but they were also available in blue and red. Now, let's see what it looks like on the inside and how it works. Ah, see, there is a hammer right here that is actuated by a spring and attached to the white gasket assembly as well as the button. When the button is pressed down, it moves the hammers, which in turn activates the micro switches. You can actually see that there are two of them. So if one fails, the other one will continue to work. Now as you can see, here is the manufacturer date, which appears to be February 2004. So this is most likely one of the last impulse buttons produced by ThyssenKrupp. And here is a close-up of the micro switch, which as you can see is a Honeywell V7 and it was made right here in the US. Now opening this up to reveal the inside, just pull this off. See here's the inside with the hammers and then the cone assembly for the bulb socket which goes in through here and then the external parts. Here's the frame and the button itself which is just a square piece of plastic that has these unique radius corners. However, they hold up very well as I may have seen some younger ones in outdoor installations due to sunlight but I've never seen any cracked ones or broken ones. So, with that being said, let's put this together. So it just pops in one piece. And then it clicks into place. And there you have it. Oh, for special effects, let's introduce a flashlight. Here's a close-up of it. And a zoomed out view of it. So with that being said, next time you see or hear a Dover Impulse and you press it, now you know what's going on behind the scenes. So with that being said, 
This concludes my new style Dover ThyssenKrupp impulse button. And with that being said, thank you very much.